One of the things that comes up a lot of the time when it comes to public speaking is how to walk and how to stand. Now I've seen videos out there where people have talked about um, moving your, your, your weight to create emphasis. That's a load of baloney, but I'm gonna come on to that in a minute. What I'm gonna talk about is what most people do wrong and then how we can counteract that. So stay with me whilst I go through this. The first thing people do when it comes to public speaking is we tense up. We think we know, or you start to, to bring in that energy, that fear, that anxiety, and that locks everything up. And actually what you need to do is loosen off. So one of the things you need to look at is your feet. So she says, looking down at her feet, you need to see if your feet are actually under your hips. So a lot of people will put their feet this far apart. Your hips are not that wide. So you want your feet directly under your hips. The next thing people do is they lock their knees. So they're standing there and they're tightening up their knees, which then tightens up their gluteus maximus, tightens up the bottom and tightens up the stomach. And that's the big thing. We all hold the tension in our stomachs. We all have this fear, thanks to the way that social media is, the way that magazines are. We all think that we should be slender and perfect, but we're not. We're all wiggly and jiggly. So let's lean into our wiggles and our jiggles. So the first thing we do, as I said, is let's get the weight under our hips. Let's loosen off our hips and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and make sure that our knees are actually relaxed. The next thing that we do, which is across the board, is we think we've got to lean to the audience or we've got to push our necks out. There's are two things that people do. They either push their necks out to be seen or to speak louder or they lean forward. Now that immediately means that you're looking like you're coming through the lens all coming actually at your audience. So this is where your relaxed knees help, your relaxed hips, you're relaxed over your feet, and you actually sit on your hips. And then we relax our shoulders, we pull our shoulders down. And the reason we don't hunch them is we've got to breathe, we've got to keep this space clear for our breath. We need to celebrate our bellies, we need to hold them and love them. It costs a lot of money to get them to the size they are, so let's enjoy them, let's start loving them. There's no need to put it in because you can't breathe. You cannot use your diaphragm if you are tensing up those stomach muscles. So we've now got our weight over our feet. We've now got our hips over our, hips over our feet, our knees are relaxed, our hips are moving, we've got a relaxed belly, we've got our shoulders back, we can start to breathe, we're not pushing our necks forward, we're not leaning forward and we can start to present. Now I saw a video, truly appalling, telling me that women like to move from side to side because it makes us feel empowered. It really doesn't. We're normally moving because our feet are hurting because we're wearing stilettos. So let's talk about stilettos. Stilettos change the way you are on your feet. They push your weight forward, which pushes more into that leaning into your audience. So actually you've got to get your weight over the arch of your feet. So let's go back to the feet, right down to our feet, which is why a lot of speakers tend to wear little, little heels, tiny, tiny heels, or they're wearing trainers or something comfortable because the more the weight is over the foot, over the arch of the foot, the more firm you are when you're moving. Now let's talk about movement. A lot of people pace. That's absolutely fine. And you should move. You can see in this video, I am absolutely animated. But what you should do is, or could do, is move on a thought. So when you change your thought, you take a movement. When you change your thought, you yeah, take a movement. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, <laughs> I'm using my up stage arm. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I cross my body, I've cut out the audience to you. Whereas if I bring it up and out and up, and out, I'm bringing you in and out, and I'm turning and I'm turning and my body is open to the audience. So that's just a few things that I've covered off in this very quick video about your weight, your feet, and how to gently move and to move on a thought. So on that note, that's the end of this video. So if you wanna to subscribe to my channel and pick up all my hints and tips for public speaking and content marketing, subscribe away because they're all free and I'd love to help you absolutely nail your online presence. I'm Kirsty van der Bok and I'm the creative director at kvdb.co.uk.